G'day, I'm Jacob and this is Sam and we're from Make Science Fun. Thanks heaps for joining us today. This episode is inspired by our new best friend Andrew who's got this great channel called STEM Bite. STEM Bite. He's done this video on standing waves and so we're going to make some standing waves or stationary waves in miniature. Okay, Sam's got a rope in his hand which he can move up and down really quickly. I'm going to get him to move it up and down 30 times a second. And now I'm going to get this strobe to flash pretty close to 30 times a second, or 30 hertz. Look at this. This standing wave, or stationary wave, is the fundamental standing wave, or the first harmonic. Now Sam's going to double his frequency, and look at this. Yes. This is the second harmonic. Notice the node in the middle, the point that's not moving, and the anti-nodes on either side. And they're the parts of the wave that move the most. There's no editing or visual effects here. This is simply a, a piece of rubber being wiggled up and down, and a strobe light is used to match the frequency. If you want to understand this, you do need to check out Stem Bite and the Standing Wave episode. Now if I double the frequency of the strobe light, I get two images. It appears not to be moving, but it is really. Yes, look at that. Wow. That is awesome. Woohoo. Okay, Sam. Hit the 90 hertz, mate. Yes. This is now the third harmonic. Notice that there's three anti-nodes. One and a half wavelengths all together on the string. My challenge to Andrew is to see if he can make a few more stationary ways around the home and use his strobe and Google Glass to film them. It's Jacob and Sam from Make Science Fun. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye bye! And we'll be seeing you again soon. Bye! For a weekly video, please click the Make Science Fun logo below and I'll be seeing you soon.